Hi Anne, welcome to this new video and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at line of sight flying. So this is something that I don't think gets talked about anywhere near enough to do with uh, quads and FPV flying because it's all about the FPV, it's all about looking out the front of the camera. However, one of the key skills flying a quad is being able to fly at line of sight and many quad pilots have real difficulty with flying line of sight because they want to get the goggles on, they want the experience of being on board the quad and flying around and that's that's great. If that's what you want to do that's great. However, when you take a new quad to the field and you want to check it out, you want to see if it's flying okay, one of the most dangerous things you can do is put on a set of goggles first in order to fly it because you just don't know what the quad's going to do. It's much, much better if when you fly a quad for the very first time you fly it line of sight because you've got the spatial awareness of who is around you, where people are, you've got the spatial awareness of where the quad is in relation to you and it's a far less dangerous situation. Not only that, but flying line of sight you can see what the quad is doing. You can see very clearly how it's flying around you and it will allow you to diagnose issues with the quad that you may not be able to see if you're flying FPV. So what I wanted to do was to start talking about how do you learn to fly line of sight. So I've put the, us into line of sight mode here with the quad. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press T to turn off that trail because I don't really want to be seeing that trail on the quad. That's really for for when we're flying in FPV mode so that you can see where other quads are when you're racing. So this is the kind of thing you're going to see when you fly your real quad at the field and Velostrone does a really nice job of flying line of sight. You get into line of sight mode by pressing the F key so it will switch you between FPV and line of sight by pressing the F key and when you look at the quad you'll see that at the front here are white props and at the back there will be green props or purple or whatever color it assigns but normally in single player mode it will assign you green props for the for the rear so this allows you to identify the front and the rear of the quad and I would very much recommend that if you're going to learn to fly line of sight that you do the same thing that you put different color props on the front of your quad to the back so that when the quad is some distance from you you're able to identify where the front is and where the back is. If you put all the same color, color props on your quad then it makes it really really hard to orientate the quad when it's that distance from you and this is one of the biggest problems with line of sight flying is losing orientation. It's something that never happens in FPV. You never lose orientation of your model in FPV. You always know that you're looking at the front of it. You always know which way round the controls are. You always know that if you push roll to the right it's going to roll right. In line of sight mode that depends on which way it's facing. You see if the quad is facing away from you and you roll right then you go to the right and if you roll left you go to the left. It all makes perfect sense. If you face the quad towards you then actually some very different stuff starts to go on because if you roll right the quad goes left as you can see. And this is basically called nose, nose in hovering is what I'm doing here. And this is a skill um, and it's a very difficult skill to master. It's not something that I would recommend you go straight out and try and do because there's a very good chance you'll fly the thing straight into yourself. You have to practice this kind of thing on the sim in order to be able to get used to what the controls are doing before you try it with a real quad. And this is one of the things that sims are really really good at is teaching you orientation of a quad. Okay so that's an advanced thing those in hovering. How do you get into flying a quad line of sight? Well for that we're going to look at making some tracks ourselves that are designed to allow us to work to work with flying line of sight and build up our skills by using markers on the ground and things that we're going to fly around that are on the field that allow us to develop our line of sight skills and what you should end up with is the ability to fly your quad around like this, uh, even flying it backwards which is what I'm doing at the moment 
backward circuits, all this kind of stuff, rotating the quad, never losing control of what's going on. As you can see, I'm spinning the quad all the time, but I always got control of this quad, even when it's spinning. And this is an advanced skill for line of sight flying. It's not really necessary for you to be able to do this to check out a quad, but if you build up your line of sight skills, then it will give you real confidence to go out and test your quads before you fly them FPV and not worry about the thing flying off. And you want to be sure when you're testing a quad for the first time that it, it really is up to what you want to do with it. And of course, doing all this kind of stuff and not losing control of the quad and being able to see what's happening and seeing how the quad is, is responding to your controls is super important to getting a really nice flying quad and you'll if you watch the the really really top pilots they do all have an ability to fly line of sight they're all able to get their quad out and do kind of flips like this and fly the quad around and be in control at all times and it's something that's very often neglected by FPV pilots but it's a really important skill to develop so we're going to do a series of videos next where we look at line of sight flying and how we can develop these line of sight skills.